Hi, I'm QVC. What we're about to build today is HMS Belfast. And the reason why I'm building this particular kit is because of two reasons. The first reason is that I actually visited this ship back in 2019 and it was a great ship for me to visit and so I wanted to build a model kit of this great ship. And also, another reason why is because I thought this kit was going to be an easy kit to build, but it wasn't. Uh, Airfix did indicate on this box that this, this was not an easy kit to build, but I didn't read it, so by the time I bought the kit, it was already too late. So, this is a classic kit that was first produced back in 1973, and in this video, you're going to get basically two for the price of one. Not only did you, that you're going to see me build this model kit, but also I'm going to give you a tour of the real HMS Belfast in London. This is going to be an exciting video for you to watch. So let's go ahead and start building this kit right now. Let's go take a look inside this box. We have one plastic bag containing all the parts. and the instruction sheet. I want to talk to you about the level of detail of this model kit. As I said earlier, this model kit was made in 1973, and so I didn't expect the level of detail to be that good. I am surprised. This model kit is very well detailed. What I'm pointing at right now is a something that I didn't know exactly what it was, and to me it was just simply a block of plastic. But when I finished making this bridge, it all became very clear. When I put the bridge on the superstructure, this became very clear to me what it is. It's the end of an airplane. These two areas are the hangar bays in which they actually um, launch the airplanes. And so this, no, this hangar door being all the way up is a very nice detail that I did not expect from Airfix. This is a very nice model kit.
Okay, so we built the model kit, and now it's time for me to show you what I bought. I think what I think about this kit so far. Take a look. This is the computer model kit before painting, and I find this model kit pleasant to build. As I said earlier, um, when I bought this kit, I thought that this kit was going to be easy to build, but I didn't read the label that Airfix has said that this kit wasn't designed for the beginner, and I agree with them. There are a lot of small parts in this model kit that would make the beginner feel very frustrated but these small parts that it has it really makes this model kit look really good I like the details on the turret the bridge the airplane this section right here all these small little details make this model kit outstanding and because it was first designed in first produced in 1973 this classic kit is also pretty amazing within itself because Airfix has used all of the technology, the best technology of its time, to produce this nice model kit. And for that, I think this model kit can compete with today's model kits that are out there. So if you're interested in building the Belfast, I wouldn't overlook this classic model kit from Airfix. It's very well detailed and I think that you're going to enjoy building this model kit and it's really good I enjoyed building it it's time for me to paint the model so before we start painting the model kit I want to give you a tour of the HMS Belfast so what you're going to see is that we're going to go in on we're going to go on the rear of the ship and go into the interior. I hope you're going to enjoy this. Like it. Do 
explosion like it. No. So you don't like things like this. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. You don't mind that. Yeah, I don't mind. What are they doing? <laughs> Johanna, what are they doing? They're probably doing some form of surgery. It's time for me to paint the model. I already gave the entire model a coat of black primer and now I'm going to use my airbrush to start painting the model kit. So I just finished painting the entire model with all these bright colors to give it some visual interest. And now I'm going to use my airbrush again to paint the model with the main colors. I just masked the ship with Silly Putty and now I'm going to paint with other colors. I'm going to do some dry brushing. The model has been painted and weathered and now it's time for me to build the diorama. Alright so before we start painting and making the diorama I want to give you the last the final part of the tour of the HMS Belfast. So what you're going to see, what, what we're going to do is that I'm going to tour, give you a tour of the, um, the final part of the interior and then after that I'm going to show you the armament, the guns of the HMS Belfast.
both hand and power operated mounting. Thereafter, HMS Belfast's close range armament remained largely unchanged until the end of the Korean War. With the potential to fire literally thousands of rounds per minute, it proved to be beyond the capability. It's time for me to build the diorama. What you see right here is the base that I just made, and it consists of two parts. This part here is the styrofoam in which I made a place for the ship to, uh, to lie in. And also underneath this masking tape right here is the uh, crown molding that I purchased at a local hardware store to make the borders look more prettier. And now I'm going to paint the base right here with the C color. I'm going to make the C and I'm going to use this product here. This product is clear caulking that I bought at my local hardware store. I got this plaque from eBay and it looks good. All right, so we built the model kit, we painted it, we weathered it, and we also made a diorama out of it. So now it's time for me to show you the entire model kit from the beginning to the end. Take a look. This is the completed model project after building the model kit and building the diorama. And this entire project has turned out to look a lot better than I thought it will be. And the, begin the biggest contributing factor was really the model kit itself. As I said earlier, I didn't expect a lot of detail from this model kit because it was first produced back in 1973. But um, it's very well detailed. And adding that to a diorama really makes this project worthwhile for me to build. I really did enjoy it. 
building the diorama with this very nice wooden border and this plaque right back here. It makes this um, project worthwhile to build. And again, I did enjoy building this project. That completes this model project. So what you're about to see is a video slideshow of the entire model kit. But before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert. I'm just a regular guy just like you. And also, I'm making these videos just to encourage you to build your own model kits. So please do. At the time of this recording, it's really somewhere in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic and there are over 150, uh, 157,000 people who have died in my country alone. So it's a very sad fact but that's what's happening right now at the time of this recording. So please, uh, where, wherever you are watching this video, either in the United States or in, um, in Europe or in Asia, anywhere in the world, please be safe and God bless. I'm QDC and thanks for watching. Bye bye.